Hi guys, this video is going to teach you how to uh, calculate the Simpsons Diversity Index, which is the value that's going to tell us how biodiverse uh, a location is. Before I begin this video, you need to read this entire article. If you don't read this article, you are going to be lost as to what I am talking about. So pause the video, make sure you've read it. Okay. So we're focusing right here on this equation right now. So we are gonna use Excel to help us calculate everything, um, making it super easy to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and download two things from Google Classroom. Uh, the first thing I need to download is this data. So open up the data that we got, click File, Download as Excel. Okay. So this is the first thing I need. I'm going to open it. I'm going to click Enable Editing. OK, the second thing that I need to download, it's on Google Classroom, and it says Excel for calculating the biodiversity index and p-value. So this Excel document is how you are going to do um, all of your major calculations. OK, so. Um, I'm going to click on this tab, the Simpsons Diversity tab, and then I'm going to use Split Screen, which is going to be super helpful for you to use throughout this process. So I'm going to drag this to the left side. I'm going to click on this Excel that I just downloaded. Okay, so I'm going to copy my data over. This yellow part is for EHS, so I'm going to get the data here for EHS. So I'm going to copy. And over here, I am going to paste. Now, when I click paste, um, make sure you click this paste right here that says values. Um, if you don't click that, um, over here I used equations to get these, these numbers. So uh, if you don't paste it that way, um, it's not going to give you your numbers. Okay, so you may have noticed off the bat that all of a sudden, all of this that was blank now has numbers in it. Okay, so that's the automatic math that um, this Excel document is doing for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the Fresno County. Copy. Paste using values only. Okay, so <clears throat> um, I'm done with this one for now. So I'm gonna exit out of that. Okay. So now I'm going to split screen with this equation. So what I just did here and what this calculated for me was the top half of this equation. So if you look here in, um, this is NI right here, the total number of organisms of each individual species. So to do this equation, I needed to find um, in one minus one. So that's what this is right here. So if you look, the equation that is used is equal this column minus one. So that's automatically going to give me n minus one. Okay, then that part um, n minus one needs to be times by n again. So I see in this equation, it's this times this that gives me this value. I then use the equation down here, the sum equation, that adds up all of those values, um, which then in the end gives me, oops, hold on. Okay, you shouldn't have to do that. That was an accident. I touched it. Okay, so um, this sum equation is adding up all those values, and that gives me essentially what we would calculate for the top part of this equation. So to finish this, all you need to do is now take that number we just calculated and divide it by this um, number here. So we're going to use, once again, Excel to do that. So right here, I'm going to put equal. I am going to put, okay, so you do equal in Excel. That means you're doing an equation. So, whoops. Back up. So I'm going to put D because that's what this value is. So D equals, um, I'm going to put there. So D would equal 
this number up here, which I calculated, so I'm going to click that, divided by, and then I'm going to add a parenthesis so that it does order of operations, n, so here's n right here, which is the total number of organisms of all species. So I already calculated n as part of the formula. I'm going to times that, which you use the little asterisk to do that, by n minus 1. So another parenthesis, n, click that one again. Oops. n minus 1. Okay, I'm going to add one more parenthesis to close it off. And now I've got my equation. So all I should have to do here is click enter, and that is going to give me um, my D value. So I'm not going to click enter because I want you to find it on your own. I don't want to give you the answer here. Um, but once you click enter, uh, you are going to uh, come back over to this article. Remind yourself what that value means. So D ranges from 0 to 1. 0 means uh, there is the most amount of biodiversity possible, and one means no biodiversity at all. So you're going to see uh, what value you got, and that should tell you about the biodiversity. You're going to do that for both Edison's data and our Fresno County data. Okay, um, good luck.